Greetings and welcome back to Rimworld and the lost colony of humans that is, of course, the weird colony living as they do in Gallardo Caves, which, of course, they are very proud of. We are apparently low on medicine. We need new research project. Yes, we do, for we completed a, a research bench last time around, but we didn't actually set any research to do. So let's do that now. Uh, we could research Devil Strand, allows colonists to plant Devil Strand, a slow-growing mushroom that yields a valuable plant fiber. Uh, project tech level, Neolithic. Your tech level, Neolithic. Um, well, that sounds pretty good. We could also go for stone cutting, although that's quite a lot higher tech level. Brewing. Ooh, brewing. The brewing of ales and tasty beers. Um, that's quite good, although I don't know if we've actually got access to hops or anything. Smithing, carpet making, electricity. Let's go for Devil Strand. It's got a great name, and, um, you know, we could probably put the mushroomy um, fibre to good use in the making of, I don't know, rope or something along those lines. Some kind of fibrous product. Uh, Wasp is of course polishing up the uh, ground, smoothing out the passageways here in um, Gallardo Caves, making sure that people can kind of, you know, get in and out as quickly as possible and things. Flamingo of course has immediately gone to work researching. Sparrow is kind of um, not got anything to do, so let's actually give some more uh, mining orders in place, put some more mining orders in place, because we are going to want to continue to expand old, um, you know, old, old Gallardo Caves here further and, um, you know, make more and, and better use of the space that we have available to us and stuff, which uh, will be great. Everyone will love that. Everyone will really, really love that. Look, we don't, we want to come along here as well and we can maybe like, I don't know, do something up here in that area. Um, meanwhile, Let's, uh, we can push this back as well and get a little bit more steel for our steel use. That sounds good. We can push that back. Um, sure, why not? One more notch. Expand that. Get a little bit more steel. Uh, make sure that Sparrow has many valuable and important things to do to make him feel like he is some kind of hero um, doing all of the important things. Uh, skunk, where are you? Skunk. What? Skunk. What's your shtick? Your shooting is 5, your melee is 13, your melee is much better than your shooting, but it would be good if we could, like, maybe give you a bow or something. So why don't you craft uh, a bow? Craft a bow, and then make a bow. Make a short bow. There we go. Make a short bow. Do it one. Make one. Make two short bows. Might as well, whilst you're at it. Somebody can make two short bows anyway, and then we'll equip one of them to Skunk, and Skunk can go out hunting, because we, who the hell is this? Gabella? Gabella, where have you come from? Gabella the loner, male villager of Gallardo Caves, age 52. What? He's just suddenly appeared. Where has this person come from? Gabella, has he just been born? Was he somehow, like, wanderer joins? Look, there we go, a villager named Gabella has arrived and is joining the colony. He is a loner. Wow, Gabella, welcome. You've got strange clothing on. It has to be said. Strange clothing, indeed. Uh, you are also in the middle of doing something. I'm not sure what exactly. Whatever it is, it's probably okay. Um, but I'm a little bit worried. I think you're smoothing the floor. That's what Gabella the loan is doing. Let's take a look. Let's take a look in more detail. Um, indeed, let's bring up his full thing. He is a baseline human. Mostly unmodified by gene engineering and mostly unchanged by evolutionary pressures on non-Earth planets, including presumably this one, where he has lived. His strange clothing indicates that perhaps he is not quite of such a, a primitive tribe as ourselves. His diet, vegetables, raw meat, corpses? <laughs> corpses? Really, Gabella? Uh, are you even a man or a woman? Character. Uh, he is a male, a male villager uh, of the tribe. He was a cave child, apparently, as a child, um, and is a loner as an adult. He is incapable of social actions. Wow. I mean, him and Wasp are just going to get on like a house on fire, aren't they? I mean, they're not, actually. They're going to get on badly, like a, like a bad house um, that is also uh, probably also on fire, but not in a good way. And, um, you know, because they're both loners, so uh, what can you do? They'll just have to... Uh, wander close to each other kind of nod awkwardly maybe kind of like one of them will go for a handshake and the other one will sort of like go for a hug in a kind of awkward fashion and then they'll just kind of like both back away uncertain as to what they should do in this moment and then probably just sort of like give it a kind of little half smile and a nod and then sort of awkwardly turn their backs and, and wander off um but you know nonetheless they will be the closest to each other of anybody in the tribe and you know 
I'm sure Wasp will be happy, even though Gabella's clothes are very strange indeed. Um, he is, of course, heat tolerant, a careful shooter. Gable is a pretty good shot, but he needs more time to focus on his targets, uh, and he is a slowpoke. He might make quite a good hunter, apart from the fact that he's a slowpoke and he's 52, but um, we'll give him a bow anyway and we'll see how he goes. He's quite good at crafting. So uh, I'm sure we can find a use for you. Um, it, it's good to have you here, my friend, Gabella of uh, Gallardo Caves. I think it's, you know, I think we're going to we're gonna do great things together. You and uh, these guys here. And girls, of course. Let's not forget that many of them are girls. Flamingo, for example. Skunk, um, the miner. We don't really need you to do mining at the moment, Skunk, if you want. Uh, because I kind of just gave those jobs. We just let's just leave Sparrow the digger as the only miner uh, left, and everybody else can go off and find other jobs to do to keep themselves busy, um, other than mining and basically, you know, making Sparrow feel kind of a little bit redundant. Because actually, it's kind of the only thing that Sparrow does. He just digs, digs and digs and digs. We could maybe expand into this like block over here. That might be. Oh, you know what? I think that's probably what we're going to do. I think. I think Sparrow is already going to... He's going to, like, sit down. He's going to start devising these elaborate plans for expanding uh, Gallardo Caves to I include this little bit of rock here. And um, possibly these are probably too small, to be fair. But, oh, look at this. Look at all the space up here that we could potentially mine into. Oh, the excitement. The, the pure adrenaline-filled excitement for Sparrow of thinking about building cave homes is just so astonishing that, um, you know, he, he's, got, he's had to go and get himself some berries to eat. Where are the... Surely we've got meals. We've got, look, we've got simple meals here, Sparrow. Why are you eating berries when there are simple meals that could be eaten? Um, it, it's strange and curious. We do have some herbal medicine left. It said we were low on medicine. Yeah, we only have six medications left in storage. Buy more medicine from traders. Okay, we're also low on food, apparently. We only have 12 full bars worth of food in storage. This is dangerously low. Grow, buy, find, or kill some food. Maybe we should increase our bill, in that case, to, um, like, 20. We'll keep, like, 20 meals. 20 simple meals uh, to be had um, in storage at any given time. Hopefully that will be, like, you know, they'll be eaten in time. Should we kill the boom rat? Should we go hunting boom rats? Boom rat hunting? Maybe? Um, turkey? Turkey hunting? Uh, there's lots of animals around. I, I wonder whether we should, like, leave the animals for, like, the winter time, though, when possibly growing things will be harder to find. For now, we're probably better off just getting all of the berries from the local area, getting them all, harvesting them all, turning them all into tasty meals, and storing them in our cauldron, where um, things are cold and uh, stuff will stay good for ages. I mean, things aren't actually cold in the cold room. As far as I know, the game does not model, um, you know, the effect of being inside a cave-ish environment as kind of, you know, a chilled um, place to store food and things. I think you can build refrigeration, though. I think that is a thing. Obviously, probably not at the Neolithic tech level, um, but maybe later on. Look, we've got more up here through the north entrance of Gallardo Caves. Up there and away um, in what we should probably name, um, I don't know, like uh, Dino Fields up here. Dino Fields in the north. Um, down here, this could maybe be uh, Buster Manti. Um, Barons, maybe? Buster Manti um, Fields as well. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we will come up with much better names for everything, I assure you. Look, Gable's out doing something. I don't know what exactly. He's, he's off to see the trees. Um, do we need more wood? We've got quite a lot of wood. We could, if we wanted to, just chop down this tree and this tree and also this tree. Not to mention this tree uh, and also this tree. Oh, oh and this tree. Um, possibly also this tree. I mean, there's, there is a lot of trees around here. Tree chopping is really not going to be a problem. Finding trees to chop. Finding something to do with all the wood from the trees that we've chopped. Well, that could be more problematic. But, um, you know, so far that doesn't seem to be an issue. Unfinished wooden short bow. Why is it unfinished and what do we need in order to finish it? Do we need, possibly, fibrous mushrooms in order to finish it? This, this trap as well. It's kind of freaking me out every time I see it kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, good, everyone's kind of like busy, skunks cooking meals, wasps wandering around in the stockpile for some reason. Um, Petite is just wandering around. Do these, do these dogs ever actually eat? <gasps> Look at this! 
Goma! Goma's got to bed in Goma's little box in Flamingo's room. Um, while Petit has just like collapsed in the hallway from complete and total exhaustion. We've also got some flower pots on the go in people's rooms. This is really coming on. That's just beautiful. Look, let's move Turtle's bed before um, she can go to bed. We're going to stick it over here. And she's just going to have to move it before it becomes time for her to sleep. Because, um, you know, it's, it's very important that she sleep in her own room, Turtle. Her psychotic ways uh, could be problematic otherwise. We'll put like a torch down for her as well. Is she? Oh no, she's going to go to sleep. I thought she was going to haul her bed over there all on her own. But no, apparently sleep is more important to Turtle. Flamingo also has had a hard day researching. 74 of 500 progress is all that she's actually managed. So it could take a while. It could take a while before we have mastered the art of, um, you know, fibrous mushroom growing. The fibrous mushrooms shall be grown and we shall do great and wonderful things with them and people shall look upon them and uh, be very impressed indeed. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep this maybe as like a, a, a cell or something in case we have a need for a cell. So let's make another bedroom, just uh, another bedroom chamber just like off of here. Um, it can be like three by three because that's like our standard bedroom chamber size and, and everyone seems basically to be happy with that. We can actually look at at the value of this. Where is it? Toggle room stats display. Sparrow's bedroom. Impressiveness 14. Dull. Wealth 199. Impoverished. Space 7. Cramped. Alright, maybe they're not happy living in these pokey little rooms in um, Gallardo Caves, but you know, at least they're all the same. Beauty 0.25. Neutral. Cleanliness dirty. Um, Alright, fine. I guess, what about this one, which is slightly bigger? Space is cramped still. Impoverished, dull, cramped, ugly, and clean. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, uh, I guess we need to do something about that. Maybe we could expand? Um, we can expand this one for sure, look. Expand there. Two more. Two more, and possibly even more than two more down. Skunk's bedroom is going to get expanded and could potentially end up being completely awesome. We can also expand this one. Come on, why not? Let's expand both of these one more up in that direction um, and indeed this one could be expanded like that way as well poor old sparrow by virtue of having gotten the first bedroom and having dug all of this out may actually end up living in the smallest bedroom of the three which is a little bit sad um, but you know what these things happen and sparrow is a member of the team and you know we'll take one for the team if necessary learn clearing letters with right click what letters i don't know what you're talking about um oh yeah we probably don't have a bed for Gable as well, do we? Does Gable have a bed? Gable, you don't have a bed. We need to get, we need another bedroom and another bed. What am I doing? What am I even what am I even talking about at this point? Um, architect, bed. Uh, we can unpause it. We can unpause it. Gable doesn't mind sleeping on the floor tonight if necessary. Um, let's just mine out another another bedroom. Let's continue the hallway along here like this, and uh, we will make. Another bedroom. Oh, maybe we can't put a bedroom. We can't fit a bedroom in there. We can't fit a bedroom. There is no room for another bedroom anywhere in uh, Guyano Caves. I'm afraid. It just—it's just kind of full. It's going to have to be a small bedroom. I'm afraid. One, two. Button my shoe. Put it. Let's put it uh, like that. It's getting dangerously close to the outside, but it'll do. It'll do in a pinch for now, and I'm sure we can put it to use at some point in the future if we decide to move our bedrooms um, to somewhere else, to some, like, happier and nicer and better place. <laughs> I love that we used a drill or some kind of power tool to construct a uh, glowing, burning torch here. Gable, obviously, is some kind of wizard. Um, we're, uh, we, we like having you here, Gable. I mean, like, your outlandish clothing... Um, which looks a bit like a kind of vampire's cloak or something, um, or possibly like a Matrix cloak, uh, coupled with your um, freakish hairstyle and the fact that you use drills to construct um, burning brands and torches and stuff has generally left us thoroughly in awe of you. Uh, we don't know where you're going right now. You're off somewhere. You're off miles and miles. You're off to collect some berries that have been mysteriously left out in the middle of nowhere, possibly because you conjured them there using your wizarding powers. We know where you're Wasp, uh, why are you idle? Why have you got nothing to do? What do you even do, Wasp? Can't you pl plant cut? 
if you have nothing better to do. I'm sure you can find a plant that needs cutting if um, if there's one out there somewhere. No, maybe you can craft. Craft the bow. Finish crafting the bow. You're just going to lay down. You're just going to lay down um, in this little alcove, watching the clouds whilst um, tucked away, hidden from sight. Nobody even knows you're out there. Um, fine. All right. You know what, Wasp? If that makes you feel better, if that makes your lunarish ways uh, easier to deal with, and that sort of like awkward moment that you had with uh, Gable yesterday where you kind of weren't sure, and, you know, you could sense a kindred spirit, but, you know, you just didn't know how to quite approach them and, you know, watch out for the spike trap. Watch out for the spike trap. Oh, Wasp wiped out. Watched out for the spike trap. That's good. Um, we've struck compacted machinery somewhere. Oh, is it here? Is that compacted machinery? Compacted machinery. In the expansion of the bedroom, compacted machinery has been bound. Wasp. Oh no, what's going on? Oh, Wasp and Flamingo. Wasp and Flamingo are, are having at it. Flamingo started a social fight with Wasp. Reason insulted. Wasp, Flamingo, come on. I mean, you two, you two are like uh, good, good people. Good, fine members of the tribe. You have long been friends to rescue a wounded colonist. Select a healthy colonist and in the right click on the window. Sparrow, we need your help. You need to rescue Flamingo the Shaman. Quick, get down here. Flamingo the Shaman is down. Wasp has, after having like gotten really awkward the other day, has decided that he's going to take it out on Plaw Flamingo, our most socially competent and um, you know generally outwardly going individual. Gable has come in very quietly, just collected the bed. Decided he's going to dump it down in the middle of the room here and um, get about his business. Wasp, meanwhile, is being treated by Turtle, who totally doesn't understand the etiquette of the situation, despite the fact that, um, you know, Wasp... Did Wasp fight it? I don't... Actually, I don't know who started it. I'm just assuming it was Wasp, because, of course, um, you know, the, the instant that we had recently with uh, with Wasp and, um, and uh, Gable. But no, it could have been the other way around. Who knows? Flamingo might have started it. I, even though she is a lovable shaman, she does have a darker side to her, as I understand it. Um, but this is all fine. It, it matters not. They, they'll be friends again once they wake up, I'm sure. Like, they're being healed by the magical healing powers of our beds and uh, sleeping in uh, slightly cramped and unpleasant environments. Um, what about this room? Look, can we, can we take a look at this room? Is this going to be cramped? rather tight okay all right so if we can get everybody up to the same kind of like level of space as this then we get to a rather tight environment rather than outright um cramped which is good i think that's good i think people prefer that let's uh finish off the floors here there we go um maybe we could merge these two rooms together do you think they would mind sleeping in the same room if it meant for a larger more impressive room that's a good question that is a good question. A question that I do not have the answer to. Ooh. 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 I don't know what those numbers mean. Quick, turn them off. Uh, finally, Turtle has made it to Flamingo to treat her wounds. We are dangerously low now on uh, medicine. In fact, we have just one medicine in storage now. We're also low on food. We have only 21 bars worth of food in storage. Do we not have like... 10 meals, 10 simple meals, 20 simple meals. That's a lot of simple meals. Is that really being low on food? I mean, do we need to like make this even more? Should we make it, let's make it 40. If 40 is still low, then frankly, we're in serious trouble. Um, I don't know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much our colonists are likely to eat, but still, um, I, I think 40 should be fine. I think it should be fine. Let's just keep cutting berries more and more berries for the uh, berry meals of uh, Berry St. Edmunds um, and indeed all of the berry eating members of the Lost Tribe. Oh, well, I mean, it's going okay. Apart from that little incident with the fight between Flamingo and Wasp, which of course will go down in myth and legend as a, you know, a great and terrible misunderstanding between uh, people who are indeed great and true friends. Um, but nonetheless, they will, they will recover from it. They will become, once again, true compatriots and companions. And um, we shall see what happens in the near future. But until then, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I have been Weird Wizard, and I will see you later.